Yeah, that's where Ronnie's been excellent so far today. Not leaving too many opportunities or half chances at distance for Marco. And of course, when Ronnie gets in close, he's missing very little, so a tough combination. Yeah, oh, great pot. One. Gotta be careful with this because the natural half ball is an in off. One. Seven. Fourteen. Fifteen. Such a bonus to be able to reach this with the opposite hand. And I know we're so used to it, but it is extraordinary, isn't it? I mean, he's dropped the cue ball absolutely where he wanted it. Yes, he wasn't straight forward, particularly with Reds having come into play. He knew if he missed the black, he'd be leaving Fu in, and that's what's happened. And these are the chances Marco Fu has really got to seize on. Quite sure he'd have had five minutes on the practice table, Marco, because not had all that much table time. Certainly around the business end of the table, so he's not quite in stroke as yet. Searching for that one perfect positional shot. Of course, when you don't get a raft of chances when they do come along, they feel that more difficult to take advantage of, but now that he is in good position, he can start possibly thinking but maybe winning this frame in one visit Anyone? it's just gone a little awkward it's going to have to settle I was going to say a red well maybe there's a plant on either way he's got the loose red certainly it's a nice bonus but one that he was fully aware of But no. He would feel that's a mistake he can't afford to make. 3 1 down. Could be very, very costly. Yeah, so 12 and 24 would be 36 in front. and not need the red Nine. by the pink. So two red blacks, 16. and he doesn't have to worry about the red that's tied up just yet anyway. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Early 
الف اي ادي ايت اوتي Hong Kong Fu that couldn't hit back and he's in trouble now. Frame six, four one down to Ronnie O'Sullivan, who needs two more to become champion here at the Hong Kong Masters. Fu did have his chance in that last frame, just failed to make that plant. Says a lot about Fu, though, that you know he hasn't had many matches at all in the last three years, but he's managed to beat in this event Mark Selby and John Higgins. Yeah, it remains to be seen whether Ronnie's going to be tempted at the red, but really he shouldn't have this option. Mm, one goes astray, so Marco Fu has got to get something going quick style. Four one behind, but that man there was four one Eight. behind to Neil Robertson just yesterday. It's doable. Done. It was noticeable there how quickly he played that. Yeah, I think he's reached that stage where he knows it's got to happen and probably quickly. I think he's just going to, not so much throw his arm at a few, but he's got to try and relax into this if he's going to make inroads. Let's try to quicken up a touch, at least for the next frame or two. <laughs> well, you can see how reacted the cloth is. And he's got his reward. Skipping round the table there, he's on one. Played it on sort of more instinct than sort of preparation for it. Good ploy. 34. Body. It's not bad, they can hold for blue, which would be enough. Just open the shoulders a little in this frame, Foo. If you look at the three ranking events he's won, the three players he's beaten in the finals are Sullivan, Neil Robertson and John Higgins. When it comes to these finals, he's had uh, some really big wins. Well, Marco, are you going to have to pull out <laughs> something special now to make the century? <laughs> and you never know, dear. It's not going in, but a 98 break, just what the doctor ordered there for Marco Fu. This final not done yet. O'Sullivan still two away at 4-2.
that's been interesting, I think, about the crowd. They've been very well behaved. <laughs> There's been no alcohol served. It's been respectful. It's been enthusiastic. And it's really added to the general atmosphere. Now, taking this on, deep screw it. Has he got cover? Oh, fabulous. Great hit. What a shot that is. Gets a double applause from Fu. Tapping the cue twice on the table. It's nice to see the skillful safety play warmly appreciated. Well, yeah, no wonder he's a uh, wry grin. Maybe he fancied the cue ball finding the gap, but... Uh, the kind of chance that Ronnie normally doesn't falter. Well, the good news, I suppose, there is he's not played on the black, so Marco Fu's maximum not under threat, but that doesn't mean he won't be 5 2 down shortly. I'm just thinking those five reds dotted close together there. 54. Type of position. Yes, they're loosely packed, but it, that's where you need really good cue ball control. 51. Yes, he's got three, maybe even four that pass. 62. But he gets right in behind that type of shot so often makes it look easy when it's far from it 67 68 well Fu really does have it all to do now he needs snookers here otherwise 5-2 he just fancied the big break of course he had to make it 75 done so very impressively once again and surely now we're going to see our first century of the final Sullivan's had three in the tournament so far of course Fu's maximum still in line for the £10,000 prize you see it's kind of what I was driving at you know the five reds he's been no more than probably 20 inches or so away from all five of those reds that he's picked off it's been not so much a stunning break because it was a good chance yes when he came to the table but Boy, has he delivered. 39. So not a total clearance, he misses the last red, but 105. And Ronnie O'Sullivan leads Marco Fu by five frames to two.
been a wonderful few days in this big arena back in Asia for the first time in three years coming here with an elite field to showcase the game A lot of the crowd thought he was on that black. Blue it is then. Yeah, blue cut to medal. Yeah, just be, it's almost the, the two shots there kind of sum up his, his final so far. Yeah, Ronnie's made the mistake. He's left one, but it's not easy. The black should be guaranteed. Just got to get himself started. No, he's not on it. I can understand why he's under so much pressure. And let's remember the layoff that he's had. It does have an effect. Well, it's not over yet. The brown did not go in. One. And that left a chance with the white hanging on, which Foo is knocked in. The crowd willing on every shot he plays here. A cue ball has come back too straight and it's not so much the pot that's the problem, it's where does he get the angle on the colour to keep the break going. Yeah, just losing his cue ball too often. Not a ranking title, but I think it would mean a lot to him because of the audience here, the world record Nine. crowd of 9,000, the atmosphere. Yesterday, he was in big trouble. Neil Robertson made three centuries in a row to lead 4 1. Oh, Sullivan turned it round in style. Yeah, beautiful again. A little touch of helping side. Encourage the cue ball. Ferrero has had quite a heavy contact, so it's going to be long pink. I think it's safe to say it is match ball because he's going to be right in behind the last red. But no. 
Wow, what a leg twist in the tail. Got the heavy contact, which is why he had to take that pink. So... Going the two cushions spin wow. in between yellow brown. Played it perfectly. Good shot. Yeah, they are around straight in the green. He's got a nice angle to attack the blue. That's not perfect, uh, but should still be okay. Yeah, decisions. It's not easy to move. He just drop in behind it played to move it but it wasn't all that big a target so scoreboard 17. nine behind Ronnie needs a ball and that's all so Marco's got to be super careful thinking about the cross double he went for it he got it this match looked over but Marco Fu needs pink and black to take us to another frame Well, I'll tell you what, if he turns this round, we'll remember what happened in this frame of solo. He got a kick. And we're going into another frame. Incredible. And who's to say that's not the start of the full-scale comeback? It's 5-3. 5-3. Has Sullivan still won away? Couple of thin edges. I think this shot has made more difficult the fact that there is a path for the cue ball to find the gap, but his eyes will be drawn to that gap. And it makes the pot more difficult. He's got away with it though, or has he? Is there a gap? Yeah, once again, a dangerous game. Actually, this shot that Ronnie's faced with, the best way to play this is try and top the cue ball into the pocket with the pot because it's not easy to do it. You see, if you try to maybe squeeze and try to get the cue ball out of there, your eyes naturally come away from the pot in a funny sort of way. Has he got away with it this time? And there's your answer. One. And it feels that way, doesn't it? The first time in this match that Marco has got Ronnie, not at it, but he's certainly got him under some pressure. He's definitely Eight. in the ascendancy just at the moment. Oh, Marco, what have you done? Yeah, well, he can't be on a red. Wow, what a, what a mistake to make. He had the proverbial acre of space to land the cue ball. a little Marco could do about that in terms of pushing a red near the corner One. 
he's thinking about the Marco escape, trying to block off the right half, but he's not with it right now. One nil, sorry, then. One. It's a pretty bad error. <clears throat> Straight red's not really a Marco Fu type of shot. Perfectly capable, obviously, but he just can't afford to leave Ronnie in with a straightforward chance not with all the hard work he's had to put in he's eyeballing a shot to nothing but missing it thin he's in behind the yellow that's what's in his mind it was a good return problem is over to Marco boy what a big shot What a big shot that was. Has he got any sort of cover? Chance O'Sullivan. One. And that's not ideal, far from it. Six. Now, things have changed in this match, for sure. You can see it in the body language and it's reflected in the play. Yeah, I do think you can trace a lot of this back to when it was 4-1 and Marco thought, right, OK. Let's get the shackles off and start having a go. Loosen up a little. Ronnie would have picked up on it. Almost like a poker player playing a bit safe. And then thinking, right, OK, let's just go all in with it. And, and by playing that way, you make yourself more dangerous, more of a wild card. And it would be back to 5-4, but that wasn't the time to put in a bad one. Why didn't he just kill the cue ball and black to right middle? Good pot, but can he avoid the cannon on the five reds? Well, what a chance to take us to yet another frame. It's already been a fairy tale week for Fu. Another red and a black. Should be enough. And in goes the black, so Marco Fu, all of a sudden, is all but one frame adrift. Marco Fu, 56. Two snookers needed, if the red goes in, there's no playing on. One. Eight. Marco Fu on the combat trail. Terrific long red this. A match that he was a ball from losing, 6-2. He has the chance now to take us to a decider. It's now a lot closer. Marco Fu runs two on the spin. Ronnie O'Sullivan is still one away from victory. His lead reduced now. 
to just 5-4. didn't come round and have a look got to be honest a bit clumsy that so the reds a certainty positions not one oh, it almost one. adds to the <laughs> almost adds to the uncertainty of the situation doesn't it the black one, the worst possible place on the table, completely out the game. Six. Seven. Twelve. He's got to risk it. It's a nice target. Full face of the pink. Surely. Wow, that's amazing. That does surprise me. Just because it's such a good target. 18. Who am I to, you know, second guess this fella when it comes to break building, but I thought that was the time. Great shot. The only thing I will say is definitely more difficult that one than the last opportunity. He's still got one. Nothing absolutely guaranteed, but more than acceptable. Only two. Only three. This is a world record crowd of 9,000 people inside this venue. Only six. Only seven. Okay, deep screw through the gap. Beautifully played. And this time he's absolutely perfect in the blue, so. One more red blue to follow. And Ronnie O'Sullivan looks like picking up the Hong Kong Masters title and trophy. 59. Well, we're here at the Hong Kong Coliseum. He's never quite been a snooker gladiator like Ronnie O'Sullivan. And he's responding well here. He's put under pressure at the end of this final. He looks certain to win 6-2. Seven. Seventy-three. Seventy-four. Wouldn't it be great 
if he wins it with a century. That seems fitting. 18. 81. In a really good break, this. 87. 89. 92. 92. He's going to win it with a century. Total clearance of 114. Ronnie O'Sullivan, Snooker's biggest box office attraction, wins the Hong Kong Masters in front of a world record crowd of 9,000 people. He beats Marco Fu by six frames to four. The world champion lands his first title of the season.